This week we are back on nonfiction books. Remember, nonfiction books mean that they are non fantasy or not pretend. Fiction books talk about real things in real life. Sometimes we can get information about animals or places or people. This week we're going to spend a lot of time looking at animal books and facts about animals. We're taking a little bit of vacation from our fantasy books and our fiction books that we've been enjoying. This week we're going to focus on nonfiction. One of the books that we're going to look at together is A Tiger Cub Grows Up. And this one is by Joan Hewitt and photographs by Richard Hewitt. So I'm curious if that might be a husband and wife team that works together. They share the same last name. Maybe brother or sister? A tiger cub grows up. In the nursery. Tara is a tiger. She was born in a wild animal park. The cub is hungry. She feels the tip of the bottle. She drinks her warm milk. When Tara is nine days old, her eyes open. Grown-up tigers like to swim, but Tara does not like her first bath. Mary feeds Tara. She talks to the tiger cub. She gives her kisses. At night, Mary takes the cub home with her. Tara drinks her milk. She falls asleep. When Tara wakes up, she is hungry and wants more milk. Tara drinks until her belly is full. She falls back to sleep. As she sleeps, she grunts and squeals. Tara is three weeks old. Her baby teeth are coming in. She has pointed teeth for tearing meat. And she has rounded teeth for chewing. Chewing feels good, but a plastic tray is hard to hold with chubby paws. Each day, Mary shows the cub a piece of meat. Tara does not want to try it. Not yet. Playtime is a time to learn. Can Tara crawl over Mary's legs? How hard will Mary let her bite? Ooh. Tara is three months old. Mary takes Tara to the animal doctor. It's time for a checkup. The bright lights are scary. The tiger cub how roars. Howr. Tara is healthy. She is old enough to play outside. Tara goes outside. Grass and sky seem strange to Tara. The air is filled with new smells. The tiger cub follows her nose. She runs across the grass. Lynn takes care of Tara now. Lynn hugs Tara. She plays with Tara. She shows her falling leaves. Lynn plays with Tara every day. She teaches Tara what she can do. She teaches Tara what she cannot do. Tara greets Lynn with a friendly shuffling sound. Lynn returns the greeting. Tara joins grown-up tigers. Tara is nine months old. She is big and strong. She can join the park's grown-up tigers. Tara likes her new home. She can run across the grass. She can climb on the logs. She can nap under leafy trees. Tara watches the, ti the big tigers swim. She walks around this pond. It's hot, 
So Tara jumps in. Splash. Tara is one year old. The tiger cub has grown up. Here is more information about tigers, more information about the park, and this is called the timeline. It shows all of the things that the book talked about from the time that the tiger was born until the time the tiger was one year old.